Welcome dear students to standard 7 mathematics. This is teacher Sharon De Silva and we are discussing chapter number 11 circle. I am sure you have studied circle in lower classes and you have studied about its aspects and concepts. So let us continue. Radius. Any line segment connecting the center of the circle to any point on the circle. You see this red color line? Line segment. This particular line segment is known as the radius. It is a line segment connecting the center of the circle to any point on the circle. Chord. A line segment joining any two points on the circle. So this particular blue colored line segment, this is a chord. It's a line segment joining any two points on the circle. Diameter, the chord of a circle which passes through the center of the circle. So this particular indigo colored line segment is the diameter. It is a chord which passes through the center of the circle. My dear students, diameter is the longest chord of a circle. We'll see an activity. You can perform this activity at home. Place a cylindrical bottle on a paper and trace the outline of its base. Use a thread to measure the outline of the circle. Second, measure the outline of a bangle with the help of a thread. Third, measure the outline of any cylindrical object like a pipe using a thread my dear students in all these three activities we are measuring the outline of circular objects and this particular outline has a special name and that name is circumference of a circle let us see what is circumference by definition the circumference of a circle is the perimeter of a circle that is the circumference would be the arc length of the circle as if it were opened up and straightened out to a line segment. My dear students, in all these three activities, what we are doing is we are measuring the outline or the perimeter or the arc length with the help of a thread. And then when this particular thread is straightened out, it transforms into a line segment. This particular line segment is circumference and it can be measured against a scale or a ruler. Now there is a uh, relationship between circumference and diameter. You see this particular table on the screen. There are three objects mentioned over here. The first one is a bangle. I have measured its circumference and it is 19 centimeters. And diameter is 6 centimeters. Now I just wish to see, divide and see what I get. So circumference is shown by C, diameter is shown by D. I divide circumference by diameter and I get the answer is 3.16. You can take any circular dish, but it has to be a perfect circle, and lid of a jar and measure its circumference diameter, circumference diameter. And then divide and see what answer you get. It is really interesting. You should do this. Now we'll be watching a video in which this particular relationship is explained further. So let's see the video. What, what do we, we get when we divide the circumference of this coin by its diameter? What about this wheel circumference and diameter? Or this stadium? We call that the circumference of a circle 
is the length of the edge or boundary of a circle. In other words, it is the perimeter of a circle. Coming back to the question, whenever we divide the circumference of a circle by its diameter, we get the same value every time. Can you recall what this value is? It is pi. Remember that pi is an irrational number. This means that it is a non-terminating and non-recurring decimal number. The digits after the decimal keep going on and on and on. That is why it is non-terminating. And since there is no repeating pattern in the sequence of digits, it is also non-recurring. As it is not possible to write down all the digits in pi, whenever we have to write pi, we simply use the Greek symbol pi. In calculations, we can't use an endless value. So we use approximate values of pi such as 3.14 or 22 divided by 7. So now we have learned that the circumference divided by the diameter of a circle is always equal to pi. Let's connect this with something we already know. We know that the circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r, where r is the radius. We also know that the diameter is equal to 2 times the radius r. So if we clump the 2 and the r together in the first equation, we get circumference is equal to pi d. Now if we take d to the other side and divide it, we get c over d is equal to pi. This confirms what we have learned today with knowledge that we already had. That was an interesting video. The ratio of the circumference of any circle to its diameter is a little over 3 and remains constant. This constant is represented by Greek letter pi. Great mathematicians have proved through hard work that this number is not a rational number. In practice, the value of pi is taken to be 22 upon 7 or 3.14. If the value of pi has not been given in a problem, it is taken to be 22 upon 7. Now, if radius is r, diameter is d and circumference is c, then circumference upon diameter is pi. Just now we saw this. Now, if I just rearrange these, then I get c is equal to pi d. So, this is one particular formula. Now, diameter we know is twice of radius or 2r. So I just substitute this in this formula and I get c is equal to pi multiplied by 2r. I reframe this and my formula is c is equal to 2 pi r. So this is one formula and this is another formula. We use this formula when the diameter is given to us and we use this formula when the radius is given to us. My dear students, this is all for now. We will meet in the next video. Till then, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.